All right, I'm gonna release him. We're gonna release him. All right, guys, so you got a really good listen at the noise the drum make. Uh, that's why they're called black drum, as you just heard. They make that grunting noise, like that really low frequency resonation noise. Um, it's really cool to hear them. If you're out fishing for them in the bay, you can hear them under your boat, under your kayak. You'll hear them when you pull them out of the water. And uh, that's really my favorite part of drum fishing, is just to be able to hear them like that. So... Um, that's like kind of the main point of this video was just to hear him drum, but I'll just throw in like this. We're baiting up with the clams, and uh, we're fishing. It's me and Romo in our kayaks on the Delaware side, and we thought we were going to do pretty well today, but it actually turned out to be the opposite. It was pretty dead, and I was able to get one bite from the only drum we caught uh, right at dusk, as you will see right here. There's a drum. There's a drum. <sighs> Woo! There's a drum. Damn, he's pretty nice too. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's decent size. Oh, I hear him drumming. Man, we waited for so long for that bite, I tell you that. We waited a long time for that drum there. The sun is getting very low. So for me, living in the Philly area, fishing the Jersey Shore and stuff, these black drum are the biggest fish that I can hope to catch that are still considered fish, a.k.a. they're not sharks. <clears throat> Um, you could catch a 100 pound black drum. Uh, that size fish does exist and it's really like the only species of fish that grows to that size anywhere uh, within range of a kayak, uh, you know, within a couple hour drive of Philadelphia. So that's one of the reasons why I really like targeting these fish. Um, I haven't spent a lot of time on drum in my life and it's still kind of new to me. I'm still learning and I don't know, it's like a lot of fun. You know, these things can fight. There's no mistaking that bite. That was a drum bite. Not a croaker. Or a dogfish. It was a drum. I was feeling pretty confident today catching a drum, and then it didn't happen for so long. I was having doubts, but all you can do is just wait and wait and wait and bait and bait and bait. So as you can see, that drum really doesn't want to come in. Um, they fight really well. Even, I mean, with heavy gear, a 30, 40 pound drum is still going to rip drag on you and still give you a run for your money. And uh, so far this year, I have not caught any big ones. Nothing over 50 pounds. But uh, I think right around now is prime time. And I'm trying to get out pretty soon uh, to try to get on like a, a nice one. But, uh, I mean, that's a nice one. This this one here is pretty nice. He's not huge, but he's got a nice color and a good fight. And we're just fishing these tube worm patches down here on the Delaware side in 10 to 20 feet of water. The tube worms are these worms that build their homes out of, like, uh, calcium, I think. They, they attach themselves to shells and rocks and stuff, and they kind of form these patches of, like, hundreds or thousands of tube worms in a small area. And uh, it feels rough or sticky on the bottom, like, with your weight. And those are the spots that I've, I've been targeting this year. It's like whenever I drop down, I want to make sure that I'm right on top of some good sticky bottom, uh, right on top of the tube worm patches. And uh, so far, it's, it's been working. I've caught more drum this year than I have the past couple of years. So 10, 20 feet of water on the Delaware side, that's where it's been at for us this year. But yeah, the Jersey side is seeing drum now. So I don't know, I'm probably going to fish the Jersey side next. Yeah, he's drumming loud. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
that is a nice noise. Probably my favorite noise. Let's see. So that's him. We're gonna see. He's uh not huge, but definitely out over 30 pounds, a little over 30 pounds. Bottoms out my boga. Alright, I'm gonna release him. We're gonna release him. Alright, so that was the only drum that we caught on this day. It was a really slow day for whatever reason. Uh, it was really nice out though. I mean, that sunset that we got was perfect. It was like completely slick calm. And uh, there wasn't really any other boats out there. And it's weird. It seems that you start hearing the drum under the kayak around sunset every time. Every time we've been out there, we hear the drum. Uh, only at the end of the day, like on our way back in. And uh, what that is, is the males are grunting as they're trying to mate with the females. Uh, at least that's what I think. So we drop down when we hear them drumming and we never get any bites. But I think what it is is that those are just the males making their, their love noises or whatever. So, I don't know. That was the only fish we caught that day. Stick around. More drumming to come. All kinds of fishing in the future. I'll see you guys later.